I'll say it again. If what mainstream media reports was not so dangerous, it would be so funny. It would be laughable. The absurdity, the farce, the lies would just be laughable. But it, we're in deep, deep, deep trouble here because of their reporting. So here we have Obama not meeting with Netanyahu, who, who's coming to Washington again, again, to address a joint session in Congress, of Congress. He is again speaking to a joint session of Congress and the American people, a war criminal, an Israeli Zionist evil war criminal, is going to be addressing the American people in a joint session of Congress. Why do the American people love war criminals? We've got war criminals in the White House. We've got them in Congress. We, we allow them to you know, come to Congress and speak to the American people. Why is it that Americans love war criminals? And do you want to know why Obama is not going to be meeting with Netanyahu? This is AP. <laughs> Why do I even link to these articles? Because I'm sure nobody clicks on them. But Obama's not going to be meeting with Netanyahu because it's a long-standing practice and principle for the president not to meet with heads of state or candidates in close proximity to elections. That's right. So Israel is going to be holding an election in mid-March. So Obama of course, standing on principle, because we know how much that guy stands on principle. He's not going to be meeting with Netanyahu. Well, because Israel is going to be having an election. Who gives a shit? That's the principle that he's going to stand on? No. What else is going on? The Jerusalem Post has Israel's source says leaked report of Netanyahu Mossad rift on Iran sanctions is Obama's revenge. So, according to Bloomberg, officials from Mossad have lobbied congressional and administration officials to refrain from imposing new sanctions against Iran. However, just a couple of weeks ago, I read an article that Washington was not going to be, to be imposing any more new sanctions against Iran. So... Now it's Obama's administration's revenge because Israel doesn't want any more new sanctions against Iran. And why? Because it would lead to a collapse of the Western powers talks with the Islamic Republic over its nuclear program. Hasn't Israel wanted to just go in and bomb the hell out of Iran? There's no sense to any of the news that we're reading anymore. And I don't think that the American people get it because they can't hold anything in context and they can't remember what happened yesterday. So just even a couple of weeks ago, we learned that the Obama administration was not going to be imposing any more sanctions upon Iran. But now we have Israel or the Mossad lobbying congressional and administration officials to refrain from imposing new sanctions. Are you getting my drift? Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. But the White House expressed anger over the invite extended to Netanyahu, calling it a departure from protocol. Yes, Netanyahu was invited to Washington by the Republicans to address a joint session of Congress to be a thorn in the president's side. Why can't Americans see that this kind of reporting is so moronic. It is idiocy. You read words that just don't make any sense anymore. You, you read one article one day, and then the next article contradicts that article, and there's, there's just no sanity anymore. And <laughs> Israel has no interest in being involved in these matters. I, I don't think that mainstream media can handle all of the lies. They, they're, they're just spewing out words. Actually, I did hear that a lot of these articles now are being computer generated. Nobody, no human is writing them. 
That's what's really scary. So, yeah, all right. We've got this war criminal addressing the American people. Why do the Americans love this? I think more and more are hating it, actually. We're just not hearing from them. But look at these psychopathic, narcissistic, evil souls laughing it up, having a good time. It's so, it makes me sick to my stomach. I just, I can't even look at their faces, but their faces are still on the main stage. It's time we cut these faces off the main stage somehow. Can't we do it? We're larger in number. Please start screaming. Wake up your fellow Americans. I don't care that they wear fancy suits and they have their nice teeth and they're, you know, considered successful people. They're psychopathic, crazy, evil nutjobs who should be locked up. Have a great day, guys.